If you're just joining us, this is Running, Alaska Public Media's candidate forum. I'm your host, Zachariah Hughes, and we are shifting our attention over to West Anchorage, starting with a contest for District 21. Matt Clayman is the Democratic incumbent representing this part of West Anchorage, which includes corners of Spinard along with Turnigan Heights all the way to Ted Stevens Airport. Representative Clayman's opponent, the Republican Marilyn Stewart declined our invitation, so Representative Clayman will start with your opening remarks before moving on to questions from me. Well, thank you for having me today. I'm Matt Clayman, and I'm running for State House. Today, m more than ever, we face great challenges as Alaskans that call on all of us to come together to do what's best for Alaska. You know me as your acting mayor, as your assembly representative, and today, as the state, ha state House representative for West Anchorage. You also know me as a husband, a father, and a local attorney. And most of all, you know me for my commitment to West Anchorage, my commitment to protecting our constitutional rights, and my commitment to putting Alaska first. Thank you very much for the invitation. It's an honor to be here. Uh, sir, my first question is, uh, last year legislators were taken to task for blowing past deadlines during the legislative session, extending into a special session for the second year in a row. I'm curious if re-elected, how you plan on governing more effectively and uh, expediently? Well, 10 years ago in 2006, the voters has, had an initiative, and it, they voted overwhelmingly to tell the legislature to finish our work in 90 days. And that was actually one of the biggest surprises I had over the last two years was that the legislature didn't really take that 90-day initiative seriously. And I look back historically, over 10 years we've gone past the 90-day limit over half the time and probably the worst two years of the last two years. So I think the starting point is I'll be really talking with my colleagues about really listening to the voters. And they told us 10 years ago, get it done in 90 days, focus on getting it done in 90 days, get started early, don't wait till the last day to pass different pieces of legislation and, and be committed to doing what we need to do to finish in 90 days. And that's, that's something that really hit home to me when I came back to the communities. They said, you gotta do it, you gotta do it in 90 days. And, and, and this year as opposed to last year, if you go back to Juno, what new plans do you have for closing the enormous budget gap? Well, for the budget, we need a responsible action plan for Alaska. We can't close the gap with with cuts alone. We've actually cut in the last two years, we've cut one point, over 1.2 billion in the general operating budget. That's over 22 percent. And I'm hearing each day and every day Alaskans that are, they're feeling the pain and they're feeling those cuts. So we have to have a comprehensive plan that has cost savings, additional revenue, and restructuring the permanent fund. And I think it has to come together as a, as a complete package. If we have it in, in different parts, I think all parts will fail. But if we come together with a package, I think that can pass. Since the passage of Senate Bill 91, what challenges do you see confronting uh, Anchorage specifically and the state more broadly on public safety and criminal justice reform efforts? Well, I think the, the first thing about Senate Bill 91 is that we did two things, was we actually increased penalties on the most serious offenses. Uh, for example, murder, higher minimum sentences, sexual assault, higher minimum sentences. But on the nonviolent crimes with first offenders who predominantly have drug and alcohol problems, we're focusing on not spending so many resources locking them up, but actually trying to help them get better. Specifically in Anchorage, the biggest issue to, for public safety is to support Mayor Berkowitz's efforts to grow back the police force, because there's been such a reduction in force, and he's, had, he's on his third police academy this year, and that's what's needed to bring the force back up, interestingly enough, to the levels of policing that we had during my service as acting mayor. So I have to leave it there, but it is now time for your closing remarks. Well, public service is actually something that calls, it's a, it is a privilege that carries great responsibilities. The responsibility to do what's best for Alaska, the responsibility to represent our shared values and the responsibility to protect our constitutional rights. And that includes the right to privacy, the right to public education, the right to develop our natural resources for the benefit of all, and the, and the right to equal opportunity. And in these challenging times, we have an opportunity as Alaskans to come together and work together to put Alaska first. I'm Matt Clayman. I'm running for re-election because I'm committed to putting Alaska first and working together, and I would appreciate your vote. Thank you very much. And thank you, sir.
Democrat Matt Clayman is running to keep his seat in District 21. His challenger, Republican Marilyn Stewart, declined Alaska Public Media's request to appear on this program.